What's up guys, welcome to another tutorial. In today's video, we're gonna show you the importance of autosave backup in case your FL Studio crashes. Now, I've been using FL Studio since FL7, FL8, and the journey hasn't been as smooth as it is today with FL Studio 20. So having this new feature in the newer versions of FL Studio has definitely been a godsend and is very beneficial in case your project crashes, which has happened to me countless times, I can't tell you. So the first thing that you wanna do is go to your options and go to general settings. We'll navigate here to file and you'll see here backup. Now I've set it to occasionally. Um, you can leave it on occasionally, you can put it to never, I wouldn't recommend that. Um, one thing that you wanna keep in mind is that my projects are being saved on my solid state drive so the only reason why you might not want to save as often is maybe if there's a lot of data being uh, written to that drive, maybe you don't want as much stress to the drive. But generally speaking, you know, in, with modern drives and solid state drives and all the technology out there, there shouldn't be a concern. There sh you shouldn't have an issue. And if you have a failing hard drive or a bad drive, you shouldn't be using that, especially for music production. So here I'm actually gonna change mine to uh, regularly, every five minutes. So what this does is every five minutes, it's going to populate a backup project. And uh, keep in mind, it goes in intervals, so you won't have a concern of like saving 500 backup projects, it won't go like that. It's something like 10 or 15 at most, I believe. So let's say we're happy with this, we're saving every five minutes automatically. So this is independent of our regular saving. How do we retrieve a project that has crashed? Very simple. Go to File, go to Open, and you will see a folder in your Projects folder called Backup. And you can see here, these are projects that I was working on, and you can also take a look at the date modified. Sometimes you'll find yourself in a position where the backup project isn't actually more recent than what you just saved. And that can happen if you just saved your project, okay, one minute goes by, two minutes go by, it didn't actually reach five minutes to populate a backup. So in that case, you're gonna have to actually go back to your projects and unfortunately start uh, from where you you know last took off. But in the situation where the backup, generally speaking, is more recent than what you just saved in the, in the event of a crash, then you're gonna be accessing it from here. I can't tell you how many times I've done this and as you guys start using more plugins, more third-party plugins, as you add more stressed FL Studio, and especially I find that FL Studio is very, uh, very sensitive when you're using either 32-bit FL with bridged mode using 64-bit plugins or vice versa. You know, you start populating more of those IL bridge processes and that makes a lot more instability on your system. So in the event of a crash, it's integral to have backup. So definitely, it's a very important feature, just in the options, file settings, and go ahead and change that to something that you like. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on every five minutes. So I hope you guys like this tip. It's a very important one to make sure you guys don't lose your creativity. You know, maybe in the last four or five minutes, you were working on a super amazing lead, something crazy, and it's important not to lose that work so you can come back and have a go at it. So I hope you guys liked this video. Remember to smash the like button, drop a comment, let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see, what kind of tutorial, sound design, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.